Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is a Monday. It's the seventh day of October. It is National Chocolate Covered Pretzel Day. We have, we have some, some of those. We have a neighbor who brought those to yes, us. Thank it was you, so thank you. Nice. We're on a diet and we can't eat them, but uh, that was very nice. And I, the good I have s- snuck a few. Have you not, really? Yeah. Okay, I was going to say I, I, <laughs> I almost did the other day. I was like, oh, make better choices, John. <laughs> but we have company that is joining us this evening, and I'm going to make sure that they enjoy as many of those as they can. Especially <laughs> knowing it's the day today, <laughs> National Chocolate Covered Pretzel Day, uh, National LED Light Day. And, you know, that's quite the invention, LEDs. I love LED lights. It, yeah, but I don't like LED headlights. <laughs> no. National Bathtub Day, National You Matter to Me Day. And Heidi, you do matter well, to me. Well, thank you. Whether you're in the bathtub or not. <laughs> Blue Shirt Day, uh, World Habitat Day, World Cotton Day. And if it's a blue cotton shirt, you're double duty right there. All of that. Oh, National Flower Day as well. Inner Beauty Day. There's a lot of stuff. I've got all, all of that. All kinds of random things yeah, a that lot don't of things. mean anything. And it's a movie star Monday, which does mean something today because I'm talking with Christian Stolte. And if you don't know that name, you definitely know who he is. Been on uh, Chicago Fire for 13 years. I love him in the movie Law Abiding Citizen. And when I, I say love I love him, that movie. his character is like the most awful character ever. But knowing that this guy is like the nicest dude ever, he is such a good actor because you just hate the character. I can't wait to ask him about it, actually. Oh. <laughs> I hope I don't find out he's more like that character. Anyway, coming up in a bit, we'll chat with him. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Charlie has Parkinson's. Recently, Charlie started wearing a bracelet from Vitatech Healing. I'm an avid golfer, and I was going to give it up this year. I just deteriorated that much. Now I'm back to golfing, enjoying it, having a good time. I just can't stress enough how good it is. Click on radiosavings.com to hear more of Charlie's story and find out how Vitatech Healing is helping others with ADHD, fibromyalgia, autism, and more. Plus, find radio-only savings by clicking the link at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Turns out that laughter really is the best medicine. A study out of Israel found that spending time with a clown can actually shorten a child's hospital stay. Lead researcher, again, pointed (laughs) out that the study involved medical clowns who were specifically trained to work with patients in a hospital. And by visiting children, they've been shown to reduce pain, alleviate stress and anxiety in children and their families during the medical treatment. Unless, of course, they're afraid of clowns. Of course. I was thinking the same thing. Medical clowns use humor, music and playfulness to help patients cope with being in a hospital. They've been referred to as a ray of sunshine in an otherwise sterile and sometimes scary environment. A test conducted among kids with pneumonia who got to hang out with clowns were able to leave the hospital 43.5 hours is when how long they were there compared to 70 hours for those who did not see the clown. Huh. Those who got to clown around also required less IV treatment and had better vital signs. Huh. Reminds me of a time we were visiting your uncle in the hospital and I said, get a load of these clowns. And it was actual clowns. Yeah. (laughs) That was so funny. I never get that kind of opportunity. (laughs) I loved it. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If you want a better credit card, it can be easy and not so hard. BetterCreditCards.com. Earn more points and get more perks. Get what you're looking for in a card that works. BetterCreditCards.com Give yourself a little credit BetterCreditCards.com Give yourself a little credit BetterCreditCards.com That's BetterCreditCards.com Did you know? Brought to you by Genesis Gold, IRA.com. Heidi, did you know, according to a new survey, Gen Z is most likely to save their laptops and their shoes in an emergency? Members of Gen X said they would save photo albums, and baby boomers said they would grab their jewelry, even before they would get water or food. Top five items Americans would grab in a disaster, in order, were found to be their cell phone and a charger, important documents, medications, food, and water. Yeah. So here's what I would grab. My wife, I would bring you. That's well, I think all that's that matters just to me. assuming that I'm everybody's getting out okay. If you yeah. could get all get out safely, what are thing. you taking I with just you? love you more than most people love this. <laughs> We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by radiosavings.com. If you have young kids, you'll want to lunge for the parental controls. Deadpool and Wolverine 
is F-bombing its way to streaming following their enormous success at the box office. The R-rated Marvel sequel starring Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman is available to rent and purchase on digital and uh, other platforms as of October 1st. The 4K Blu-ray is coming out later this month on October 22nd. Both will have several featurettes as well, so if you wanted to see other things, the DVD and the Blu-ray or how to get those. Fun. Kevin Costner may soon be back in the saddle oh, in Yellowstone. Love Costner. In a new interview with E.T., the entertainment tonight, not the alien. I just want to <laughs> Thank you for clarifying make sure. that. People are like, why was he talking to E.T.? <laughs> he said that the show was a wonderful part of his life, and he says, who knows? Some things have a way of circling back, so... After he said he wasn't going to do it ever again, now they're like, well, maybe, you know, well, maybe. Well, I mean, never say never. Maybe. Final season of Yellowstone premieres November 10th. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Charlie has Parkinson's. He started wearing a bracelet from Vitatech Healing, and he's noticed a difference even while sleeping. Once I got in bed, I couldn't roll over. I couldn't move. I was just whatever position I was in, just a chore to get out of bed. And now everything is so much better. Click on radiosavings.com to hear more of Charlie's story and find out how Vitatech Healing is helping others with ADHD, fibromyalgia, autism, and more. Plus, find radio-only savings by clicking the link at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. A study, Heidi, has found that 11% of women refuse to wear bowling shoes. Will yeah. you wear bowling shoes? Yeah, I'll wear She's bowling shoes. She's wearing bowling shoes right now. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I had some bowling shoes that are super comfortable. I would wear, I would wear those everywhere. Uh, we have bowling shoes that we own, don't we? No, we don't own shoes. I'm pretty sure we do. I don't think we do. I'm I, gonna have to check. I think I have some in the garage. Did I just steal them from the? Did I steal their shoes? <laughs> I don't think you have shoes. No, I thought I had some shoes. Uh, anyway, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have some shoes, uh, and I do have a bowling ball with my name on it. Yeah, so, we have bowling hmm. balls, and I, I bowled a 300 once. Mine is clear and has got a brain inside yeah, of it, which yeah, mine I really is not. like. I bowled a 300, but don't be too excited. That was my series. So <laughs> that's not good. And 1,000 human resource professionals were polled. They asked, uh, what are the top job frustrations expressed to them by corporate workers today? Okay. What do you think that was coming up on the top here? Uh, whiny, money. Whiny millennials? No, money. <laughs> Would you stop? There's some millennials listening. <laughs> and they just whined about that. Uh, money is number, number one. The survey carried out in the U.S. found 29% feel they're underpaid. That is the most common source of discontent for workers, followed by being unappreciated, 26%, poor work-life balance, 25%, dissatisfaction with their benefits, 23%. Most common issues brought to HR department, poor communication came in first, followed by rule violations, toxic negativity, and gossip. All of this, by the way, just from Heidi's survey about me at our <laughs> HR. Uh, on the lighter side, some of the unconventional issues that HR workers said that they had been tasked with dealing in the office. Some of these are hilarious. Uh, preventing strange rituals in a colleague's office. So apparently there are people that do. Oh. I don't know what that means, but they're like, can you please get him to stop? Wow. Several cases where employees were bringing pet snakes and reptiles to the office. Okay. <laughs> dealing with an interview interviewee's enraged mother so they don't get the job and they call oh and they're like, gosh, why didn't you hire my ridiculous. son? And reports of haunted workplaces. And there was even one that led to an office exorcism. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, wow. All right. That's interesting stuff. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis? By allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover, you can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit genesisgoldira.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on this Movie Star Monday. Excited to visit with our guest today, Christian Stolte. And Christian is in a bunch of movies and TV shows, and we're going to chat with him about some of these. I'm actually excited to visit him about Law Abiding Citizen. He is such a nasty character in this movie, but he's such a great guy in real life. So a very, very good actor. Also on A Nightmare on Elm Street, he's on uh, Twilight Zone. He's on, again, as I scroll through this IMDb, holy cow, man, you've done a ton of stuff, but we're going to spend a lot of our time today talking 
about Chicago Fire. Season 13 is out right now. How did that happen? I'll tell you what, it happened very, very gradually. And and this is a show that a, a lot of people absolutely love the program, and uh, it, it's just amazing how it's caught on like wildfire, hasn't it? It has, and it's... Um you know, we talk about it all the time. Those of us that have been there from the beginning, we talk about it all the time. Did you ever see this coming? And none of us could have ever predicted. We do have the name Dick Wolf on our uh, on our roster, which is, you know, a pretty good sign of a show that uh, that can have legs, that can last a long, long time. But I guess none of us thought we could be part of such a miracle. And yet here we are. 13 years later. And you guys are, you know, in in the show, you go, you all get to be heroes every single day. What is it like to portray a hero on a show like this? That's got to, it's got to be fun. Even if it's just, you know, acting as a hero, it's got to be a fun thing to be. Oh, it absolutely is. And, you know, we run into, I run into real firefighters uh, uh, out in the street, out in the world all the time. And they'll, they'll sort of revere us. And I try to flip that back on them because I, I always say, you know, I'll do, I'll do whatever they want. Take a picture. You want me to call your mom? I'll call your mom. Those, those guys are the only reason we have a job, you know, the stuff they do in real life. And we just simply pretend to do. So uh, I try to flip those accolades around because they're the ones that deserve it. And, you know, in this, you do such a great job being a hero. I remember in, uh, there's one of my favorite movies that you're in where you're not a good guy. You're a bad guy. I think I know what you're talking about. Law-abiding citizen, and you did such a good job. Oh, my. You know, when you hate the character, you know that means you're a good actor, right? Listen, I sat there and watched that, and I needed that guy to be taken care of. <laughs> you know, I'm a, that character that I played, I was like, somebody's got to deal with this guy. <laughs> oh, they, they certainly did, and, and we won't ruin it for anyone that hasn't <laughs> yeah, seen the movie. Uh, we, we just watched that again recently, and we had some friends that had never seen it. And we're like, oh, it's a good movie. And then we watched it, they're like, whoa, that was, that was a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's a crowd pleaser, though. If you're into that kind of thing, it delivers. Yeah, and and now uh, th- th- again back to Chicago Fire. It's on uh, season thirteen, just premiering right now on NBC. And if if people have not maybe been following along, is there a place they can follow this, like in streaming, where they can watch every single episode now? Yeah, they can catch up on uh, Peacock. I believe Ion is showing it pretty regularly, but uh, yeah, I think you can catch up on previous seasons on Peacock. Um, which a lot of people are telling me that they're doing. Somebody will say, you know, somebody told us to watch this, and we started watching it in the middle of a season, and we said we got to go back to the beginning. So it is one of those shows that a lot of people are jumping back to get caught up on, but that's 13 years worth of catching up, yeah. which is kind of satisfying if you're into a show. Well, and th- and that's the thing, you know, th- this is kind of the best of both worlds because, you know, one of the things that I, I dislike about the streaming world we live in now is you'll sit down, and you'll binge watch an entire season in a weekend, and then you're like, man, I want to see more, and I have to wait another year for the next, you know, but the thing right. that's nice about this <laughs> is I can watch an episode, and then I can watch another episode next Wednesday on NBC, and then I can watch another episode the next Wednesday on NBC, and, you know, so that's kind of nice, but you can also binge it if you want. You can go back and watch the things that you maybe you missed, or you just want to watch another whole season again. Yeah, yeah, it's hard for me to strike a balance on that because sometimes if I've got an appetite for a show, I'll just keep going with it. But you're right, it is sort of an empty feeling when you get to the end of the season and you got to wait. But, you know, I'm an old guy. I'm used to that. I'm used to having to wait for, you know. Absolutely. I, I can relate, yes. I grew up without VCRs even. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate you taking the time, Christian, to chat with us about Chicago Fire again, season 13 on NBC. That's right. We'll certainly be watching it. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you, John. Again, Chicago Fire on NBC Television. Season 13 just recently kicked off. I've got a link to more information about that program in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on this Movie Star Monday. Charlie has Parkinson's. Recently, Charlie started wearing a bracelet from Vitatech Healing. I'm an avid golfer, and I was going to give it up this year. I just deteriorated that much. Now I'm back to golfing, enjoying it, having a good time. I just can't stress enough how good it is. Click on radiosavings.com to hear more of Charlie's story and find out how Vitatech Healing is helping others with ADHD, fibromyalgia, autism, and more. Plus, find radio-only savings by clicking the link at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? If you remove your shoe and kick the ball in soccer, it is considered handball. So 
if you don't have a shoe on, they consider that a handball. It'd be like throwing it with your hand. It's oh, the same. I don't okay. understand what that means. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? If I got a question back on that. What if you put the shoe on your hand and hit it with the, is that? Okay, <laughs> I don't we'll know. just go back. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? You can be ruled to lose a chess match if you show too much cleavage. <laughs> so that's good to keep keep that in mind, Heidi. I suppose you're distracting your opponent. <laughs> I promise I'll quit doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? If you started with one cent and doubled your money every day, it would take 27 days to become a millionaire. Here's the thing. Who's going to give you the money? I mean, you know, one cent today, two cents tomorrow, right. four cents the next day, 27 days to be a millionaire. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Humans share 50% of their DNA with bananas. I knew this. Yeah. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In 30 minutes, the human body gives off enough heat to bring one gallon of water to a boil. So, oh. yeah. My wife does that in a half hour. <laughs> oh, oh, it says God. 30 minutes. So you do it in 15 minutes because you're so hot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My wife does it in half hour. That's, no, wait, that's the average. Good job, so. <laughs> 15 minutes, Heidi. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. If you want a better credit card, it can be easy and not so hard. Bettercreditcards.com. Earn more points and get more perks. Get what you're looking for in a card that works. Bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. Most people do this when they are awake, but about a quarter of us do this when we are sleeping as well. I think I do this, and I'm pretty sure you do this. What? Laugh. Oh. Ha- have you ever laughed while you oh, were sleeping? Oh, I know I've laughed I- while I, have I was too. sleeping. I've woken up because I was laughing, and you're like, what is so funny? I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> Apparently, I was having a good dream. I don't know what it was. Uh, better than my reality, so I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Charlie has Parkinson's. He started wearing a bracelet from Vitatech Healing, and he's noticed a difference even while sleeping. Once I got in bed, I couldn't roll over. I couldn't move. I was just whatever position I was in, just a chore to get out of bed. And now everything is so much better. Click on Radiosavings.com to hear more of Charlie's story and find out how Vitatech Healing is helping others with ADHD, fibromyalgia, autism, and more. Plus, find radio-only savings by clicking the link at Radiosavings.com. That's Radiosavings.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Attention Kmart shoppers. The once legendary retail chain is set to close their final full-size U.S. store in New York, October 20th. That'll leave a smaller store in Miami and an outpost in Guam and the U.S. Virgin Islands as their only stores. When Kmart bought up Sears in an $11 billion merger in 2005, so it was almost 20 years ago, They boasted 1,400 locations, and Sears had 900. But with competition from stores like Walmart and Target and digital sellers like Amazon, the company filed for bankruptcy in 2018, emerging with just 425 Kmart and Sears stores together. And that number has steadily dwindled ever since. And again, the final full-size U.S. Kmart store. I didn't know we even had another one, but it's it's closing October 20th. Hmm. I miss Kmart. The blue light specials. Oh yeah, I grew up in a town that only had a Kmart. Mm-hmm. The whole town was in that Kmart. So, but we lived where there was a Kmart since we've been married. You never went to Kmart. <laughs> I got enough of it when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com, the greatest actors in history. Now they use statistics analyzing things like. Online ratings, box office success, Oscar recognition, the website Star Significant has determined the greatest actors of all time. Okay. So who do you think is number one? Greatest actor of oh, all I time. I have no idea. I couldn't even begin to venture. So number 10 is Christian Bale. Nine, Dustin really? Hoffman. Really? Yeah, Dustin Hoffman, nine. Huh. Eight, Denzel Washington. Seven, okay, Denzel. Jack Lemon. I love Jack Lemon. Yeah. He was so great. Six, Tom Hanks. Five, Brad Pitt. Four, Jack Nicholson. Really? Three, Al Pacino. Two, Paul Newman, and okay. the number one greatest actor in the history of actors, ranked number two online, number five at the box office, and number 30 in Oscar recognition, a little guy by the name of Leonardo DiCaprio. 
Yeah. Really? He, he is a very good actor. He's a great actor. He's amazing. But I, so, yeah. I mean, of all time, all time, I don't think most of those people would have even been on my radar. I That's think interesting. you're probably wondering, who's the worst? Well, listen tomorrow. <laughs> I got that list, too. It's the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis? By allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover, you can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit genesisgoldira.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of radiosavings.com. Another anonymous quote. (laughs) Is it just that people are like looking for anonymous quotes now? (laughs) Hey, here's another thing nobody knows who said it. I love sarcasm. It's like punching people in the face, but with words. <laughs> I love that. And I love sarcasm. I, I use that, it a lot. So from now on, that quote is also, Heidi Small says, <laughs> I love sarcasm. It's like punching people in the face, but with words. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of radiosavings.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way, courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com, and I love this story. Um, a hike to remember. A Utah woman donates kidney to a stranger she met on a mountain. What? What? Yeah, that's what happened. Hopefully they went to a hospital first. It's, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. <laughs> They didn't do it on the mountain. They, uh, <laughs> a chance meeting on Y Mountain in Utah led to a life-saving gift for a man in need. Chrissy Miller, she's 49, from Provo. She was hiking in September of last year, and she crossed paths with Schiller Joseph. He's 45, from Florida. The two struck up a conversation. It went something like this. Hey, you got a kidney I can borrow? <laughs> no, I don't, think, I don't think that's exactly how it went. But uh, they struck up a conversation, and they had a really nice visit. And she found out that he needed a kidney. They stayed in touch. Tess revealed something remarkable. Even though they were strangers, she was a perfect match. As a gesture of her life-changing decision, Miller surprised Joseph with what he thought was a box of rolls. Tucked inside was a note informing him that she would be his kidney donor. Holy cow. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, This week, the two reunited at uh, the hospital where they had this surgery done. Now, with a renewed sense of health and hope, he expressed immense gratitude for her selflessness. The extraordinary bond forged on a mountain trail is a testament to the power of human kindness and the miracles that can come from unexpected encounters. That's insane. Yeah, I think that's really cool, though. Do, do you agree that's a, that's a neat story? super cool, but, I mean, holy cow. I remember one time I met a, a stranger in a parking lot, and I donated them my wallet, which was a whole... <laughs> not, not by choice. <laughs> a whole different story. So. <laughs> I want to just say something. I'm kidding. It wasn't a stranger. That was my wife. She took my wallet. <laughs> she owns everything in it anyway. All right. <laughs> Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to read that story there, I do have a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com.